Hello friends, uh, in this video I am going to do a number of examples on solving very simple equations. Okay, now though they may look simple, uh, students do tend to do uh, some very minor errors, mistakes. Now, I like to, <coughs> excuse me, I like to imagine an equation uh, are the two sides of the equation as the two sides of a weighing balance. Now this I have copied and pasted on from uh, Google. Okay. Now these are the these are the two sides of uh, the equation and this is the equal to sign. Okay. So we call say this is the left hand side LHS and say this is the right hand side. Now when you're weighing something you put the weight on one side and you want you'll put whatever you want to weigh on the other side okay whichever way you put the weight and you can understand the logic of uh, you can understand the logic of weight to balance the both the sides they should have both they should uh, the weight on both the sides should be equal then only this weighing scale would balance and that's the same thing that you do in an equation that means Whatever you do on one side, suppose if you take away whatever weight from one side, you have to take away that much weight on the other side to balance the scale. Conversely, if you, if you add something on one side, you have to add that same weight, maybe in a different, uh, suppose if you're putting a weight here and if you put something which is not a weight, that should have the same weight to balance. I hope you understand the logic. So when, whenever you're solving any equation, that's the bottom line. Okay. So whatever you do on one side, you do on the other side. And the other thing that you have to remember when solving equation is uh, try to get the the unknowns on one side, the left hand side generally, and the numbers on the other side. <coughs> and also, uh, if you can think about how this equation, uh, this equation tells us that phi x over 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So if you think how you got 6 is, the first thing that was done to x was multiplying by 5 fourths. Okay, 5 fourths, I hope you understand, is 1 and 1 fourths. So basically this side tells me 1.25 x plus 2 is equal to 6. So if you know the rule of bed math, so let me write that. So this is same as 1.25 x plus 2 is equal to 6. So what I'm saying is 5 fourths, I hope you understand, is 4 fourths plus 1 fourths. Okay, and 4 fourths or 4 quarters is 1 plus one quarter that is one point and the, a quarter is we can write this is one plus this is 0 0.25 and that's how i got 1.25 you can do equation in different ways okay now here yeah, if you think about what happened to x to get to get to six the first thing that happened or first thing that was done to x was multiplying by 1.2x and then 2 was added and then you got 6. So when you're solving an equation you do the opposite in the opposite order. So the the last thing that the last operation that happened to x was adding 2. So you have to undo that first. So you have to go in the reverse order. Okay so if you want to get rid of this 2 you have to take away 2 from this side. As I told you, in a balance, imagine this is the left-hand side and this is the right-hand side, and this is the left-hand side and this is the right-hand side. So if you're taking away 2 from this side, you have to take away 2 from this side. Okay, so that's, so why did we do this? To get, cancel this or to eliminate 2. So now you've got 1.25x is equal to 6 take away 2 is 4. Now what's happening to x? x 1.25x whenever you have 1.25x this means this is 
times x okay now what's the opposite of times okay see the opposite of plus is minus or the opposite of adding is taking away so the opposite of multiplying is dividing so you have to divide this side by 1.25 so you have to divide this side by 1.25 so this and this will get cancelled so x is 4 divided by I don't want to use a calculator so I will do without you can do with a, with a calculator but I don't want to use it so this is 5 quarters okay so one so this is same as 4 divided by 5 quarters okay so this is 4 divided by 1 times whenever you you can change the division to multiplication to change the division to multiplication you do the opposite of or the reciprocal of this which is 4 fifth I'll explain this in a different way so whenever you want to change from one operation to the other you do the opposite of this number okay suppose I'll give you an example here suppose 4 plus 5 you know is 9 but if you want to do the opposite of 4 so if you want to write the 4 minus 5 you can 4 minus 4 plus 5 is same as 4 take away minus 5 you can do this on the calculator okay taking away negative means it's adding so plus can be replaced by minus but then the number has to change from plus 5 to minus 5 suppose if it is say 5 minus 4 minus can be changed to plus so I can write 5 plus minus 4 okay so this this was 4 this was plus 4 okay this was 5 minus plus 4 is same as 5 plus minus 4 okay so the opposite of division is multiplication and the opposite of or the reciprocal of 5 quarters is 4 fifth so this is you have to multiply the top numbers that is 4 times 4 over 5 which is 16 fifths so let us write that so x is 16 fifths this is perfect but I want to write this as a mixed number so 5 goes in 15, 16 3 times and the remainder is 1 so the final answer is 3 1 fifth see you in the next video